yeah, brother. You're on the Please Me Fall on YouTube channel. Are you ready? To make some power? Yes. I am. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really ready to make some power. I want to make good power. I don't want to be swapping engines today. So it's all up to you. Reliable and Cletus in one sentence is... Dude, lately it's been so bad. It's mutually exclusive. Yeah. Early, dude, the other day one of my friends drove by only a mile away and he broke down just because I was in the vicinity. <laughs> 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 Ladies and gentlemen, today, hopefully, Ruby makes some power. We have our new 4.8 liter junkyard engine in this thing. The same exact setup and everything that was on the 5.3, except now we have bigger fuel injector clinic, 2150cc injectors. We also have that new aeromotive fuel pump, so we have a lot more fuel pressure. We have the same exact cam. We have the same heads. We have the same everything. The only theory with this 4.8 liter is that we can rev it higher. So we will lose bottom end torque. Being able to spin it higher might give us a longer power band, which might be good for this power glide. We will see when we get to the track. But uh, Jeremy, AKA Pro Tuner for Motskis, AKA Tuning Grandpa, is in there right now making some changes for these bigger injectors. And we're running on straight E90, Ignite Racing E90 today. So our fuel blend is, you know, a lot safer. Guess kind of the moment of truth. We ran it for just a split second in the last video. Hopefully she really comes alive today because we don't have to go to the junkyard and swap in another engine before Cletus and Cars. We have to leave today. We have the rig ready to go. We just have to leave. James will be doing it while we drive. Yeah, we'll just, <laughs> James in the, in the trailer with the engine ride. stand. He's like rocking around. <laughs> got a hoist that holds me to the way so I can't fall over. He's got a harness, He's He's got a harness on. He's like yeah. flying around. All righty. It takes a second for that fuel pump to kick on. It's brushless and needs like three seconds, but here we go, guys. First fire up with Jeremy behind the, the wheel, so if anything happens, it's his fault from here forward. <laughs> <laughs> I claim no responsibility. <laughs> Life of Ruby. Now it's running. I didn't sleep last night thinking about this thing. It sounds like last night it didn't sound right. Today, she seems, sounds. Right. Seems good. I was I was a little concerned there at first as well, but I mean like <laughs> it's uh, I didn't really rev it that <sighs> high. But dude, it's on all cylinders. I would I would really believe that it's on all cylinders. So I mean we can check real quick. Once but... they inject the data is right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, woo! It's Dino time. Jeremy, are you ready? Jeremy, is your body? Uh, I gotta clear the throat. Yeah. It's happening. What are we gonna do? Make some power! Woo! What do you think, squirrel? Yeah, brother! <laughs> Alright, so water in the cooling system. Oh, I hear you're swapping radiators for a video. Yes, yes okay. sir. So we get a fancy radiator. So we are swapping on Jeremy's tires. <laughs> Love you, Jeremy. <laughs> and uh, putting her on the dyno! Woohoo! Alright, so we, we have a problem with our bumper coming off. At high mm -hmm. speeds, because all the bump, all the body clip mounts are ripped out. So today we're going to be using speed tape provided by Cooper via Amazon. So it's close. Speed tape. They didn't have a spot where I could put in the color code. Is that 200 miles? It should be matching. 145 mile an hour red. 
Look at that thing. No, right. this is 150 mile an hour. Red. This is eight second red right here. Oh. Right. Oh wait, is that pink? <laughs> that's that's oh. <laughs> as close as they sell. It's actually a mauve. No, I don't even know what. <laughs> well, it's tricky to get some it's salmon in it. for sure. <laughs> that's definitely a salmon. <laughs> What the hell, Cooper? <laughs> oh, man, that looks great. This thing's supposed to be able to hold... I mean, as long as it holds up to 240 mile an hour. Black might actually look better. <laughs> oh, that looks sick. All right, Jeremy, can you hold this side up there? I was doing such a good job. <laughs> then he laughed. I couldn't help it when you said salmon. <laughs> oh, oh, I want to, like, let's put some wrinkles in it. Yeah. <laughs> so it holds better. <laughs> That's how you get it to really hold. <laughs> I'm gonna start taping everything up so it's more arrow. I was thinking like, like yeah, like, we need as much arrow as possible <laughs> if we're gonna do this right. Don't waste all the salmon tape. Alright. Good luck putting that radiator. <laughs> <laughs> hold on, I'm gonna fix that. Oh god. I mean if you do enough, that whole roll might be like a tenth. We're going eight. Going down. Just this side because we don't want peace to get sucked in the turbo over there. Oh man, we got the burners lined up. Four brand new freaking Nittos on Crown Vic wheels. So these will all be for the rears of the Crown Vic. So we're going to go. We'll probably swap two of them on, take the slicks off, and then we'll have two for the second set of burnout. Neighbor ain't coming off that burnout pad with tires, brother. Coming off on the wheel. <laughs> So the motor sounds she healthy. Sounds good. Yeah. Sounds like she's ready to make about 1,100, 40 pounds of boost. Yeah, let's max out the turbo. Yeah. We got max the fuel out. system now. Yeah, we got so. fuel for it. That's got, what I'm saying. We got an engine worthy of 1,500 horsepower. Don't shortcut it. It's good for 1,600. Okay. All right. Well, 8,600. Yeah. yeah. All right. Fingers crossed. The ripper's out because we have a RC truck long jump to kick off Please the car's use. And the winner gets a slash. So, a, a brand new one, not one of our. <laughs> totally torn busted. Up, classed classed all out. metal one. <laughs> the, yeah, one that metal. Broke, the one that wins the long yeah. jump. <laughs> the one that breaks in <laughs> half. So we'll be competing, but a, a bunch of other people should be bringing RC cars. We're going to screw around the first half, like the first couple hours of the day, and have a long jump competition. And then, and then we'll get into the racing and burnout contest. Hopefully, we run the eight, then we do the burnout contest. Alrighty guys, so last time we were on the dyno, we made 760 horsepower, 687 torque. That was with the 5.3 liter, our second one that we had. And now that we have the power glide, things are gonna look a lot different than what this is because basically this car is geared to do 180 mile an hour in a quarter mile. We got the transmission and rear gear set up for that because one day this car will go that fast in the quarter mile. But because we're on the dyno, we don't really want to do 180 mile an hour pulls. It's going to take a while, right? Yeah, I mean, we probably will top it off with the second gear pull, but we need to see how far first gear is. We need to determine, uh, A, where we're making peak power, for yep. one. 
for two, the converter is going to make the power curve look very different than what you had before. Yeah, yeah so true. So that's, that's the other thing. Um, but let's try and determine peak power first, get our booster under control, get everything straightened out, and then try we'll a second gear pull. Go second gear so pull. it's going to show probably less. It won't make as much boost because the you load will be less, right, in first? That, that's probably true. That's probably true. And that was definitely true on the previous And then second well. year, it's going to pick up boost. Yes, it should. Now, um, what you had mentioned is that that was 180-something, 185 miles an hour in, uh, with assuming a 7,500 RPM rev limit. So we were talking back and forth. This 4H should rev a little higher. Um, it is a little bit of a shorter stroke. So by the nature of what the engine is, it should do that. So we'll yeah. see what it does. All right. This should be fun. Yeah. yeah. All right. <laughs> He's getting that nervous feeling before he dinos Ruby again. <laughs> There's nothing to be afraid of, oh, buddy. Oh, man. Things All right. Could go sideways. Always. Yeah, I mean, with anything can happen. If, uh, if things do happen, we're going to have to make a rainy trip to the junkyard, I think. I got you Scooby Snacks. Oh, one Rice Krispie, too. Mm, thank mm, you. Fun are happy. Fun are those good. You know what's really cool is that uh, the... What was it? The fruit roll-ups. I was like, man, that's like rewind the clock back to like fifth grade. Yeah, like, dude. So cool. Whoever sent in the food yesterday hooked it yes, up. Yes, thank sure. you. Oh. Mm. Tuna are happy. Oh. Tuna will give much timing. Yeah. Here we go. Live action in the building, folks. so fast. I thought you'd need some time to scale those injectors and stuff. Yeah, I'm going to need to do a little bit more scaling. I think the X factor was that we didn't know what our fuel mixture was before. It was kind of the, the it was leader non-scientific method. Yeah. Dude, <laughs> so, you're such a pro. Um, I can't believe you just ripped it. Like, I figured you'd do a little baby pull. That was rowdy. That sounded good. You said to send it. Um, oh. did, I did say full pull. pull. <laughs> Alright, so boost wise. That looks Dude, like our 4.8 just ate 700 in the first gear. We might not have to touch a thing, yeah. boost-wise. We might be able to just leave the same springs, because I bet second gear it picks up some serious boost. Oh, yeah. yeah, let me get the, um... Oh, do we have an idea what the compression ratio is on this thing? Yes. Let what me call McFarland Machining. Just <laughs> <laughs> You heard him. <laughs> I'm going to raise the red blender first. We're going to go 7,500 right now. Ooh! What? 8,600, 8, brother. Just chill, all right? Just chill. <laughs> You know the rules around here. Dude, look at how the power came in, though. Rip! Hell yeah. We did get a torque reading. We'll have to check our uh, our RPM reading. What you got there? You got our, our dinner for the week. Oh, our dinner for the week. Hope you guys like Funyuns for dinner. <laughs> and Are you chefing? Oh, really damn. splurged on this. Oh, yeah. I can microwave them if that makes it. Oh, hard yeah, these are the hard ones. <laughs> get a yeah, microwave our rice crispy feature. <laughs> <laughs> no, the fun <funions. laughs> Okay, folks, we're coming at you with poll number two. James, you said you're gonna watch oil pressure this poll. All right, cool. Jeremy, you're gonna floor it. I, I did, but I wanted to say an extra nice thank you. This is some fantastic tuner food. I really appreciated the rice crispy treats, <laughs> the Scooby snacks, and the fruit roll ups. That's keeping oh, them well fed. Pistachios, dude. Well, good, nice touch. Well, yeah, done. even with the shells taken off. Oh, man. customer service. Yeah. All right, get after it, brother. Let her eat. Oh, God.
first gear. In first gear. Dude, that's in first gear. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. It was it was off the chart rich before. It just cleaned up. Took just a 13% off the off the whole map. So for the fuel. <clears throat> yeah. Woo. Well, yeah. now it's on straight ethanol. So I mean, it's. It's yeah, loving that's true, it. That's loving true. life. You get this oil pressure, 80 pounds through that rim. 80 pounds. <laughs> or above. <laughs> it was just like, oh, because it, it tacks out at 80 PSI. Well, it didn't go past 80. It was right to 80, and this was right there. Oh. Woo -hoo -hoo. She's doing it. Good job, Jeremy. Oh, my gosh. We got to get our tack signal reading right. God oh, dang, dude. This one sounds happier than the 5.3. Top end charge is out here. Top end. <laughs> Doing things. Cooper, 756. Oh, She's in, a ripper. In first, in first gear still. All he did was lean it out from the last pull. It took 13% fuel away from it, and it uh, liked it a lot. But now when do we get up the boost a little? Well, you know, we're still in first gear, so once we go into second, it's just going to pick up boost because of the higher load. So if it's making over 800, we just leave it, right? And bring a boost controller to... Houston, if we have to, we'll turn it up there. If we have to. <laughs> you mean we're gonna. Oh, man. All right, guys. So so far, though, so it making almost the same power at first as it was in on that old 4L65 deal. Yeah. It's gonna go. Well, it's making the same power in first on the Glide that it was yeah. in third on third. the 4L60. Yeah. So it's, it's gonna pick up once he goes into second. Oh, man. All right, let me clean up this air fuel one more time. We should be right where we need to be at that point. Then let's go ahead and do second gears. Okay, sounds good. All right. All right. Seventeen and a half pounds. Yeah, yeah. Pretty good. Let's see here. We can't get a clean tack signal on this thing. Yeah, it just keeps freaking out on the torque reading. But 742 horsepower. Oh, that's when the line gave up. So it was on its way up. That's weird. We keep losing. Keep losing uh, signals from the dyno here. All right, this is going to be the first second gear pull we've done so duck and cover because rods might be flying <laughs> version 2.0 top end charge goes for her first 800 horsepower pull going now pull pull Our torque reading just hates life, but look at the power. Whoop! Screaming. It was gonna make more too. He just had a good people at it. Screaming, yeah. It's only about like 5,800. Yeah, what RPM was that? It sounded like it still wasn't even that high. Uh, it was like 5,800. Here's the problem. Grand. I can't be sure because of this. <laughs> we don't have a speed reading here. And we're having a speed reading there, but it's breaking up. So I don't know exactly when. I think that I was that cut it. short because that was 6,100. And I know I had to be going more than 110. I had oh, to, yeah. That was like 130. So it made 872, and you still think that was short of what it actually did. Yeah, well short. Yeah. <laughs> Here's the thing. Yeah. On really big turbo, really loud cars, the noise freaks out the dyno stack, and that's yeah. that's just a problem that you got to deal with. So I mean, 
though we have something kind of we're gonna either have to redo something I mean put some foam around it we have to dampen the noise and the vibrations that are coming off this thing but it's it's loud yeah. I mean on video it's loud but in person it's a it's very very loud <laughs> so I mean this thing is uh, it's freaking out the dyno unfortunately so it's like we'll try again uh, that actually was off the chart rich yeah as I saw well. that. yeah there how much boost was it on that hole it, I think it rolled on about 19 and a half and was like maybe 17 and a half at the, uh, at the top. wow right at that 20 pound mark damn brother introducing the dyno wall 5000 made from shirt boxes radiator boxes a front splitter for a Miata. All right, you ready? <laughs> All right, Rube. Come on, girl. Put uh, turn the boost up a hair. Yeah, do that. Okay. Say no more, brother. It might go up a lot, though. I'm just warning you. Um, I, I'm gonna try this old cleaner trick. Well, hold up. Why don't you put a small little drill hole in your thing? That's what I was gonna do. Okay, not open up the. No, I'm port. just gonna do a little hole. Okay. All right. Do a little hole so where you can cut it. Yeah, I'm gonna do it right next to the okay. gate. Okay. So what we're gonna do to up our boost without changing the spring? is we're going to put a little pinhole here that adds pressure to the bottom of the gate. So by reducing the pressure on the bottom side of the diaphragm on the gate, it, it basically it fights the spring less. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm not playing around. That, really, I, I mean, you can always step it up. You can. I want more boost. I'll go a little further away. we got plenty of slack in that line. Yeah, finger control on that trigger. Yeah. Have you done this before? <laughs> Honestly, I don't think so. I usually just take the bolt out of the other side of the gate, but Jeremy doesn't want to go too crazy. All right, now we got ourselves a little vacuum leak on the bottom of the gate. Should pick us up a couple pounds, maybe a pound or two. Well, this should pick up a pound or two or five. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> All right, so last pull we made 827 horsepower. Try and double that right here. Hey, uh, is there any chance I get a full pull? Like, okay, so that tops off at 22, and then it trailed down to, it actually dropped a little bit at the top there. So really? we dropped like two pounds. So look at the curve. It goes up, and yeah. it just kind of plateaus. Yeah. But it plateaus because we're dropping boost. Um, that was cool how it, uh, what did it pick up, two pounds then? No, we picked up um, probably as much as four or five. <laughs> But it was like, the, uh, should have used a smaller drill. Board. At the top end, I got the air fuel set to a very safe 11 0. That's more than enough room. Yeah. For so we should be safe. Hey, thank you it so might, much. It might make a bunch more, so. What do you think, brother? We got an eight second car here or what? Oh my gosh, if you can 60 foot it like you did before, hell yeah. <laughs> uh, she's going to have a lot more steam. So yeah. I, think, uh, I think you're going to be looking at a solid eight more mile an hour. That's going to be my guess. Eight more. What do you think? 
Damn, Eight 150 more. plus. Us. Hey, thank we'll you so see. much. We'll see. We'll see. So. Good job, James. You did an excellent job. Cooper, thank you for all the help getting her back together this week. We all came together. Thank you guys so much for the help. Three days. Literally like three days working on it. And yeah. please go sub to Jeremy's channel. I mean, just look at him. Not only is he handsome, he's just a great tuner. Great tuner. <laughs> did everyone just look at me? What do the viewers have to look forward to on your channel? <laughs> Aside a wide from just variety your of builds. How fantastic looks. Fantastic looks. Dogs? Oh, dogs. a lot of golden yes, retrievers. Of golden. Yeah. Um, well, we have a wide variety of builds. Got a lot of fun stuff coming up, but uh, thanks for the opportunity, brother. Dude. Very cool. Very You're cool. the best in the business, I, seriously. I, I really hope you have a 153, 155 mile an hour pass. <laughs> and I oil pressure. Well. <laughs> Call me if you need me. <laughs> we will. All Thank right. you, Jeremy. All right, guys. We got to get the trailer packed up. We're heading to Houston. Cletus and Cars is in a day. Two days. Houston Raceway Park on Saturday, February 16th. Come watch Ruby try and run her first eight second pass. She's got her new 4.8 liter in it. It's running good, so we're gonna load her in the trailer, head to Houston. We have a long drive ahead of us. It's me, James, Cooper, and Emilio are driving out there. We'll see you guys. It's gonna be so fun. Boosted Boys are coming. It's just a six will be there. 1320 video, Sketchy Vert, the Bullet WS6, so many great people are coming we have a huge burnout contest that neighbor will be destroying tires in uh we have just so much fun stuff to do so please come out but uh let's get the trailer loaded up We hate Interstate 10 more than anything because we've had Leroy like dip a tire off the lift before. It's such a rough road, it broke straps. Now we have really good straps. Kind of learned a lesson there, but but I-10's rough on the RV, especially the trailer. Hopefully we make it to Texas with no issues. That's why that's mainly why we put all new tires on the trailer and the RV is getting new tires right now because of I-10. Because I just I fear I ten. <laughs> so with neighbors' new lights, we have to put this up another freaking mark over what we normally do, like another hole, because it has locked. <clears throat> and we have inches to spare, so we gotta strap Ruby down really tight. We got more food. How exciting is this, Holly? Oh man! Try to edit. I can't miss this. We're about to leave for the trip, so this is perfect timing. Great timing for whoever sent us. Ooh, are those? Oh, Ooh. Pringles. Oh, Holly loves Pringles. Yes. What is this? Is that more Doritos? What's oh, oh, up? Variety pack. Cracker Jacks. Buy me some. Oh, wow. Cracker Jacks. Look at this. Some cookies and stuff. Dude. Oh, what are Grandma's are cookies. Oh, some beef some jerky. Slim jam, some more chips. I mean, how do you beat this? Dude, this is awesome. Here we Keep it coming, everybody. Keep it coming. Hi, Cletus. Enjoy your grub. Bartle Skeet from Matt Lounsbury, Brookings, Oregon. <laughs> well, shout out to old Matt. <sighs> Hell yeah. All right, guys. We are on the road. Freaking cruising already. Cooper at the helm. We are on our freaking way to Houston. So I wanted to finish off this video. Thanks for watching, guys. Do it for Dale. We'll see you later. Freaking eight second pass this weekend fingers are crossed we'll see you guys at cletus and cars houston at houston raceway park on saturday february 16th hope you guys all come out it's gonna be a blast but for now we'll see you later